happening here? Uh, they lost Eric's keyboard somewhere. Even if they find it. Those motherfuckers. What does that mean? It's unclear. Tour's over. We can't possibly go on after this. No? If the keyboard is lost, then there's no hope for the rest of the tour. What was the backup plan? We didn't even foresee this problem <laughs> arising. No? Dude, how long have we been out? 25 days? Something like that. Dude, it's so long. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. If you think like, like Mariah Carey and shit suffers from exhaustion, she has her own fucking bus, like her own plane, five star hotel, like VIP treatment. How fucking hard could it be for her? <laughs> Dude, we haven't slept in like four fucking days. We've taken like three trains and fucking seven planes in like three days. <laughs> Out of control. Exhaustion. What a bitch. Are you exhausted? No. But I'm not a bitch either. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> fucking release a statement to your fucking, to the public. What's your statement? My statement is fucking, of course the band has balls. <laughs> Except the tour's over because we lost the keyboard. <laughs> so we're coming home. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, they don't know where it is right now. But there's a few possibilities. Such as? Just like flights coming in from Beijing and Hong Kong. Yeah. But, they, like, but if it's Hong lost, it's not at the citizen. I hear you're tired. <laughs> yeah, dude. I fucking. I'm fading, man. I'm fighting, but it's hard. Let's drink some more, man. It's what, hard, dude. Tell me about what you've endured. No. I've endured no. countless no. hours of. Fucking, I don't even know. I don't even like, I don't know what day it is. I don't know where, I think I'm in Singapore. Yeah, I literally, I don't know where that is. I don't know what day it is. I know that it is 7 50 ish p.m. What time zone? I don't know. Not New York. We lost our keyboard. We lost the keyboard. Been making wanna... unreasonable purchases. <coughs> I want to laugh and I want to cry. We got a sweet chalet with uh, six bed spaces for 14 people on a tile floor. So I'm not going to sleep tonight either because if I take the bed, I'm an asshole. Uh, and then, uh, then we're going to fly some other fucking place tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't, I don't even know where we're going anymore. I haven't slept in days. I don't even know what I am um, anymore. I just know that my new watch is so fucking good. All I know is it, it's wrong to Check me it out. have a bad attitude. It's wrong to be upset. It's wrong to not like anything. So I'm just really happy. Dude, because having a bad attitude is wrong, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much, John. I don't want to be right. You're a fucking free spirit. You got to feel the things you feel in life, regardless of your pussy-ass friends who do the same shit but hold you accountable for when you do it. You know what, dude? Even though I don't have a reason to feel pissed off, I certainly have an excuse. <laughs> and that's all I fucking need. I think that as long as I have a beer in my hand, I'll probably be fine. I can then drink my misery away before we play, drink my misery away through the set. I can drink my misery away and sleep on some tiles. And I, then I can start over today's process again on the plane tomorrow and drink on the plane all day. My final well, revolution. When I die, it won't even fucking matter anyway. My final thoughts and opinions, Gary, is just give me a fucking drum set and I will fucking light this motherfucker on fire. Let's do this. Give me the drums and I will play them. And I'll play them well. Yeah, that's everything I have. Down to. Give me the fucking microphone fucking and I'll, I will yell at people and say some words that I like. 
Just give me the fucking drums, drums already. Exist. When do I get to play drums? It's been hours and hours and hours of not playing drums, and I'm gonna fucking die. I asked him the other day, I was like, all right, straight out, man. Are you guys getting together? And he's like, no. Oh. And I was like, are you fucking? And he's like, no. And I was like, why? Or something. I, and he's just like, I don't want a girlfriend. I just got out of a long relationship. And I was like, all right. Does she want to get it on with you? And he paused for a really long time. He's like, no. And that was like kind of how it was left. And then he, he got all quiet and didn't like speak for the rest of the night. Yeah, I mean, your last hope is Gary because Sarah has got a whole fucking like 50 gigs of photos of just Eric. Yeah. So you're not going to get much out of the photo documentary. Yeah, every time she shows me sweet photos, it's like Eric doing crazy stuff on stage. She'll be like, I think I have a sweet one of you. And she'll scroll through. Like 45 million yeah, pictures then, of Eric. And she'll find one and be like, look at this one. And it's like half my arm. And she'll be like, <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the one. <laughs> Like, we went to Tiananmen Square, and it's, she took, like, a bunch of pictures of just her and him in front of, like, the Forbidden City. So much hair. Then she took, like, a complimentary photo of, like, me, him, and Paul. <laughs> Isn't that right, Gary? I don't remember. <laughs> well. Could it, be true. It's at least half true, which is the nature of most things any one person can say. I'm hoping that... <coughs> This is a sad thing to hope, but I think optimal efficiency and like work ethic is a commendable thing. And I think the best thing for Sarah to grow as a person, to change through touring with Horse the Band, would be to have some sort of emotional fallout with Eric in which she bottles up her emotional feelings and reabsorbs herself in her work, which is photography. I think that would be a positive growth change for Sarah. As yeah. sad as it is to wish that upon someone, I, I never think she would needs it. To come if I knew it was going to be some like amazing emotional bonding relationship between her and somebody in the band. That's never good for the band. And if you don't recognize that metal comes first, metal above all things, you know, you think she's getting in the way of his in my opinion, music? if you can't recognize metal as number 1, She's not getting in the way of his music, but she's blatantly getting in the way of the way he relates to everybody else in the band, thus impeding the band dynamic and humor situation, and just the way we operate together. Oh, God damn, you're filming this? Yeah, the whole conversation. Oh, dude, Gary. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> dude, things yeah. are just a bad call, dude. Uh, you gotta remember, is. some shit you can film might, like, cause serious fucking reper repercussions. I'm not gonna show this to anyone, but like I figure I have to film the most uncomfortable moments. Well, and then... Alright, well continue filming then. Anything then can anyway. be taken out, but this is like what makes the tour interesting is what well, happens. Where was I at? <laughs> I'm also... Eric, I haven't, slept, got, I haven't just, slept for three days. Yeah. I'm just talking mad shit and I'm wasted. I think uh, once the tour is over, in hindsight, this will all seem amusing and interesting, but... You know, it would be very unnatural to influence the flow of drama anyway. I'm just here to... You're just here to capture mm -hmm. wild animals in their fucking element. And not their element. Yeah, true. <laughs> I stand corrected. I feel like... The true meaning of all this and what we're all supposed to get out of it is A, going to be very significant and B, unexpected. And I'm looking forward to the inevitable conclusion of this little drama because I think we'll all, we'll all learn a valuable lesson in the end and something tells me it's, it's it will bewilder us all. <laughs> Especially you, Gary. <laughs>
you very much. It's broken. You did a good job. Now I have to pay $1,000 to the band that was nice enough to lend it to me. <laughs> and now, dude, it's done. The keyboard is broken forever, and we'll pay for it. In the for future reference, you shouldn't run into these chords. <laughs> Because then you broke the keyboard. Is it possible? Yeah. Not so. Nintendo call yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No way. Oh, man. Come on. If you have a Nintendo, just plug it in and he'll just... You know, and then we'll just play our instruments. That'll be a good idea. Anybody got a fucking Nintendo? I'm really, 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 really sorry. This is like the most awesome show of our entire tour so far. Thank you to everyone for coming, for setting this up, for letting me break this. I'm really sorry. Sorry the airport lost my keyboard and that everything was crazy, but you guys are awesome. So thank you. All right, guys, one more time for Hoss the Band! Wow, thank you! It was better than life while it lasted. It was beyond any form of enjoyment while it lasted. It was the best show I've ever played while it lasted. Yeah. Like, who cares what the sound was like, dude? It was fucking, every single person was having a fucking blast. It was awesome. End the story. Right here? Anywhere. And add a smiley face or any special thing you want. It's like a, like kind of like a, like a flashpoint or like a place where these cultures collide. But Turkey is like a much more violent collision. And so I'm very curious about Turkey. I've never been, but I'm very curious about it. Very curious about it. Like, like in Indonesia. I did, don't worry. Hey Eric, we need commentary. John is finally Oh no, she's wearing white pants. Finally getting some ass. Okay, that's my commentary. Hey, maybe this will shut him the fuck up. <laughs> it's doubtful. <laughs> Sarah, watch out. If I drink too much, and if I drink everything down, I will... Okay, that's enough. Wrap it up. Fuck, man. You'll fucking No, watch out. There's only so much white, ugly butt you can take. I don't mind that butt. Yes, what? I've gone into work hungover, but... Playing Ew, show okay, Peppy. Playing your playing your show. White pants. Fucking awesome. What's wrong with white pants? We're wrong. Like, white over. pants should be <laughs> fucking. Then drink tomorrow, man. White I pants will. should be. Malaysia is very hot to get a drink. Illegal. I think they're sexy. White pants are awesome. fucking disgusting. And You're not a boy. <laughs> I drink too much. I'm not a boy. You don't have a professional <laughs> opinion. Oh, shit. Fucking John, man. Where are you going? Watch my bag. Be covert. I know. Watch keep my bag. Keep it discreet. Of course. Watch my shit. I will. Hey. I'm gonna sit here for a minute. I'm filming John. John doing what? <laughs> he just took off with his 18-year-old chick. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, really? Her? She's pretty cute. Oh, uh, well. I thought he was coming back, but maybe not. He's a single man. He's allowed to have a good time. I know. Do you have any idea what we're doing? I don't know. Do you want to go somewhere? I'd really love to go to sleep. There he goes. Where? Right at the end. Oh, where are we going?
Thank you for the stinger. You're welcome. You're welcome. What do you Okay, you might want it. This is a barbecue stinger. Uh, okay, eat it. This is a lady in the tramp moment. Almost. Have you seen the video? I love Horse the Bands. Why? Because they're amazing. They're their own thing. And they just make my entire world a better place. Good answer. I oh, love it here. Let's have a fucking dance party in the chalet. In the beach. Yeah. Let's not sleep. Hey, we're having a dance party on the beach tonight with a boom box. At the chalet. What? You're invited. You guys are invited too. Listen, listen. A form of respect is when we give a tourist food. A leaf is a form of respect. Thank you very much. Nice. It's terrible what's happening with the stingrays. What do you know? I know. What's happening? They're being killed, and people are eating them. Eat stingray. I'm not going to eat stingray because this trip's all about breaking down barriers. I don't give a shit. What the fuck? Maybe the stingray wanted to break down barriers in his life. And what happened? It got okay. cut short so he could be fucking put into a fucking styrofoam box so some fucking Americans could dip it in some fucking sauce and eat it. Yeah, exactly. Was it worth it? I'm a Canadian. Was it worth the life of the fucking stingray? I probably was. Yeah. Whatever. Good. Have a bite. No, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Okay, this guy, I'll this turn guy, the camera off. This guy used to be swimming and alive. His life is over. And now you're gonna eat him. He killed the crocodile hunter. Survival of the fittest. That was an accident. We will get even with Steve Irwin's killer. Steve Irwin killed a fucking crocodile. You see the crocodiles being like, oh shit, he never let's kill every fucking human. He didn't kill him. All he said was, bye crikey, this animals. one's really yeah. aggressive. So, what I realized about Sarah Hamilton is that, like, on the one hand, I was wrong, but on the other hand, I was right. <laughs> on the hand that I was right, it was that I realized that I'm a fucking piece of shit. And that what I hate most about everybody else in the world is the fact that they mirror and reflect upon to me what I'm most deeply insecure and sad about within myself. That my own pathetic fucking nature that exists within me, <laughs> when I see it manifest in another person in a totally harmless way, in a totally non-malicious way, I fucking resent it because I'm resenting myself. What I realized about Sarah is that I have a fucking, I have a lot in common with that girl. We're more similar than I could have ever possibly anticipated. And in that sense, I've been very wrong, deeply wrong. I want to do whatever it takes now to advocate on behalf of her being more productive and doing her job better. Because I think she wants to, she just doesn't have the fucking sack to inconvenience us in a way that would help her do her job better. But I'll be that sack for her. I'll be those balls. <laughs> I will be the balls that communicate to the group that like, you know what, Sarah needs a little fucking help. She needs a little help to fucking get her gear situation sorted out so she can be the best photographer she wants to be. And just the fact that she has the desire to be a badass photographer and do a badass professional job for this tour, I fucking admire that. I respect that. I like it for that. And that, my friend, that's how I feel about Sarah Hamilton at the moment. What do you guys think about true love? It doesn't exist. It is the reason I live. That's exactly what we think about it. <laughs> I'm totally serious. I know. Yeah, I live for fucking music. I live. I'm out here playing music because it's what I love to do. He's making fun of me, but that's the truth. No, not you specifically. Yeah. I'm drinking beer. Vodka. It's called a mistake. I'm glad you guys are so close. Dash is probably the only dude in his band that exhibits characteristics which I 
not only relate to, but idolize and admire truthfully and wholeheartedly. Dude, sometimes... I want to be more like that. Sometimes I just need a fucking hug on the road. That's dude, okay. That's all you need, dude. Nothing wrong with a little bromance. It's fucking John. Big <laughs> judgmental. Dude, John is always there. And I'm always there for him. Dash is probably the only dude in this band that I can be like, Dash, fuck, dude, fuck you right now. Like, get away from me. And, like, he knows what I mean. Yeah. Everybody else, dude, everything dude, takes everything so personally. Like, fuck. Dude, you suck tonight at your instrument. All of you. That's fucking life. Dude. All of you. It's fucking life. Yeah, every night. Man up. Fucking deal with it. You say goodbye? Nathan murder fucking death zone. That's what I meant. Because I'm not gonna apologize for anything that happens when it's taken away from me. At least Nathan. After that, reason's gone. He's I don't got the care. Monopod. I don't care about anybody or anything because obviously at that point nobody cares Regardless about me. Of irrational there's, there's no thinking. Thoughts. Going it's gone different. beyond that. Regardless of how irrational he may be, he needs to be considered in his state and regarded and given a habitat to dwell. We got a sweet chalet with uh, six bed spaces for 14 people on a tile floor. So I'm not gonna sleep tonight either because if I take the bed, I'm an asshole. Uh, I will not debate yeah, my authority in that room with anything other than physical really violence. If there we don't leave no now, logic. he's gonna hurt me. <laughs> Dude, driver, just put your foot on the gas pedal. Sometimes physical what? violence is That's logic. Right. Gary? Please, 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 he's got it in my spine. Dude, why is he not driving? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, it's so painful! That's how oh, get me out of here, thank you. Like, I don't want to be that There we go. I will just pound Rock your star. gear. Right, why would you down. pound my so gear? Because I'm just telling you, just, when we get there, just let me go silently into the night. I will. Okay, uh, I trust you, dude. You're a good dude. <laughs> the shit that is hidden beyond. <laughs> Uh, beyond. Uh, you don't understand. Nathan's got fucking beyond. a lot he's of got, issues. He's got the rage, dude. Like I am hard. For you. I'm accepting the absolute epitome of the darkness in myself that has been created throughout my life, and I'm going to share it with people with a blinding surprise that will change the face <laughs> of the earth. <laughs> Supreme sleep deprivation. Yeah, I, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I've never been here. I've never, been here. I've never been here. I've never been here. I've never been here. Behold, I haven't been here. I, I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's here we go. So, are you calling the floor? Nope. No, he's in the bed. He gets, he gets the bed. He gets no the guilt. Table. No guilt. <laughs> Eat a fucking knife of life. This is a new Nathan. <laughs> Dude, everybody's entitled to everybody, everybody else is drunk and everybody else wants to have fun, so you know. Lunacy. You know, you know, I'm I'm not not entitled. There's no rotation going on because we've all we've we've all You're right. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's fair, it's fair. What's, fair. what's not gonna be fair is what I do. Fair is irrelevant, Nathan. Reality is what we're talking about. Well, this reality is, just, is what I'm promising, This John. is just reality <laughs> at this point. This is just how you are, that's it, end of story. Yeah, like, this is the one day of my life I'm going to do this, and I'm committing to it. And I'm going to possibly be committed for it. <laughs> if, there's, um, if there's ever been a place to be committed, it's fucking Singapore. No. What if it's the misstep of a frail young woman? Dude, let me, oh, let me just say that I'm, I'm enjoying you. No, like <laughs> it'll, it'll be the last thing. Oh, it's a great night. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it'll, it'll be her last mistake. <laughs> like she's never seen a fucking white American bear crush her face into the tile. That's just the truth. Dude, if she is a woman, and I say this, can the worst case scenario is that deserves it. people will attack me and knock me out, and then I'll be cool. <laughs> and then you'll be cool. There, that's just and a then fucking win-win we'll win for me. And yeah, win-win, dude. There's just gonna be a debate. I, I, there's gonna be a debate, and uh, dude, uh, I, had I had a prerequisite conversation with the dudes. I can repeat myself. I think they understand the point that I'm trying to hammer home. I, I, well, it doesn't. When, you, when you're wrong, people don't care. When you're wrong, people don't want to know. 
Nah, there's no wrong. It's just, it's just life. It's just respect. I'm a, I'm a. The fundamental party rule of all time is always respect other people's party agenda, and if that means not partying at all, then that's so be it. Then that's life, dude. I'm plenty. not familiar with that rule, actually. There's actually plenty of rooms. That for is good the times. golden rule, dude. There's yeah. plenty of rooms for good times. They don't need to be on me. It's, it's the same exact rule with sex. Don't drop bullshit on another motherfucker. Sex and partying are very distinct. No, but Enterprise. it's the same spirit, you know? Same spirit. Same spirit. If you want it and they don't want yeah. it, and you force it, you're a fucking piece of shit. There's no party rape. That's that. What do you think? Yeah, there is. Partying belongs to everyone. There is, there is, and I've Sarah done it and I've regretted it. There is so party Sarah rapist. Sarah is a party rapist. What do you mean you don't want any? You don't want any? Come on, come on, get up, come on, come it's on, a come on, let's different do it. Story. Party rape yeah. is not cool. I, I don't, she's she's part of the privilege. Fingers don't Everybody's always belong okay. in someone else's asshole. Exactly, dude. <laughs> I don't know how you guys party, but fuck you. <laughs> Unitard. You're a Unitard, I did, Gary. Every, Gary, I'm getting a vibe like from you. Every good, a problem. Like every good sexual encounter, every good party deserves a safe word. Exactly, dude. Safe, safe word, word, dude. And a my what? safe word I is... Like Dude, I really like you, dude. My safe word is stay the fuck away from me tonight. My okay? safe word is I've got a stick. <laughs> My safe word is as long as we don't see each other for this night, I'm always gonna love you. My yeah. safe word is you love life as much as I do. <laughs> for real, dude. Who wants to talk about life? Life is crazy, dude. I would have never thought in a million years that I would connect with people from so far away from where I'm from on such close, similar ideals and principles. I made two really Whatever, friends, whatever yeah. happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> there should be $450 of merch money. But you can't take the merch money to pay for food. What's going on? The venue paid all the bands $300 total to split among the bands. And there's like $300 here. Which, I don't know where the fuck the $450 of merch money that we sold is. Right, the thing is, um, yesterday your tap, the wheel for the drinks and food, was like close to $800. Okay, and that we, we didn't know that it would be won by you guys, the club didn't tell us. Okay, so what they did was they took away from your, um, from your merch money as well. They can't do that. No, because we, we had to top up, you see? And we, we can't possibly use our own cash because we didn't have any share in that. Okay, we're not, so we're not like fucking getting paid, you know? I know, but now we're losing like fucking $5,000 for coming here. Like, someone needed to tell us we were being charged. Yeah, we, okay, we, like, 450? It's like, they kept bringing bottles. We didn't no ask for anything. Like, yeah, they just brought did, it to we us. We didn't know as well. We didn't, we didn't well, you had to tell us last night so we could tell the club. No, that we, we're didn't not well. we didn't know as well. We, we yeah. No, when did you find out? When we got your money. When yeah. was that? Last night. Yeah, when you found out then, you had to tell us. No, because the like... merch money is our money. They can't take our merch money. I had to pay for those shirts. But the thing is, they took it away from us, and we couldn't say anything as well. Okay, so um, it's it's really fucked up as well because we we couldn't really say anything okay, because the money wasn't ours, and they had the right to take it away. But who got they don't the have the right bottle of vodka and like all the pictures of like who started? I have that? no fucking idea, dude. Seriously, I have no idea. I wasn't even on the table with you guys. The short guy, what was his name? Listen, listen. A form of respect is when we give no, I don't a tourist food. food. The guy who, who was talking before we played. Didn't they say it was free? started bringing free? He was like, you guys want a drink? I was like, I'll have a Red Bull. And he brought a fucking whole bottle of vodka and a, two pitchers of Red Bull. So would you guys rather have like not drank and like get your milk money? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> because we didn't know as well. Well, how I mean, no one's ever like brought us alcohol and then been like the next day. Oh, by we don't the even way, know how much they charge us for each thing. I think we need to go pay a thousand dollars for overweight baggage right now. Yeah. <laughs> for what? Oh, this has. They give us a hundred fifteen kilogram restriction on weight for our bags. 
A flight does board. All of us. So, what? All right, let's go get the bags. Right, so we'll we'll okay, so how are they? It's not unusual for a venue to just start giving you free booze if they like you and had a good show. Yeah, like, it's totally normal. Is that what I thought? Dude, I've never. It's yeah. not even. Dude, yeah, it's we've that had that like happened. ten open bars on this tour so far. That's weird that they knew that the guy kind of screwed us over, and then they insisted we all go and like thank him. <laughs> Such a good night to fight too. Wait after BJ. <laughs> <laughs>